On the issue of abortion, you called uh, the South Carolina six-week ban good news for South Carolina. Would you support a six-week national ban? Yeah, what I've said consistently is I believe that life has intrinsic value because it comes from God. I am a 100% pro-life conservative. I have a 100% pro-life voting record. If I were president of the United States, I think my first objective on the issue of life is to cultivate a culture that protects life. I would stop radical states from having abortion on demand in the 40th week. So would you sign a six-week abortion ban? Thank you for asking the question twice. But here's what I would suggest, that in order for us to be able to have a conversation about limits, let's start with a 40-week. Is is, you, would, would you agree with a 40-week abortion? I'm a journalist. You have an opinion, though. So here's my point. I'm also a woman. Here's my point. Well, I mean, so you... you so I do have an opinion, yes. Uh, yeah, of course. But, but I, I, I do, too. I mean, I mean look, I've heard, you, I've heard you let, answer let me, with... with how, about, how about let me answer the question? I know you, you get to ask the question. I'm going to give you my answer to the question. Go ahead. And here's my answer. America will not find itself having a conversation. Listen, I've said on the campaign trail a, a dozen times, if I were president of the United States, I would certainly have a 15-week limit. 72% of Americans agree with that position. I don't think any state should be allowed to have abortions up until the day of birth. That is my position. I've also said very clearly, because I think you have to tell the American people the truth, even the 15-week limit is not possible unless we change the hearts and minds of the American people because it can't get through Congress. The current Congress today won't even pass a 20-week limit. Therefore, the conversation about how conservative you can go on the federal level is inconsequential if we don't figure out how to change the hearts and minds of the American people.